In my earlier video entitled South Tower Smoking Guns, I pointed out a projectile near the end of the clip that moves to the right, then suddenly turns through a sharp angle and moves downward, at least from the perspective of the camera, all the while producing a trail of white smoke. For this object to radically change directions like this, it had to experience a sudden impulse. We know there was a large amount of unreacted nanothermite in the World Trade Center dust. That was confirmed in a paper published in the Chemical Physics Journal in April 2009. Thermite reactions produce aluminum oxide, which is visible as white smoke, and nanothermite is explosive. Nanothermite is stable when wet and can be literally painted onto steel beams. Nanothermite painted onto this chunk of material would explain the explosion producing the sudden change of direction and it would also explain the white smoke trail. When we zoom in, we can see that the path zigzags, indicating multiple small explosions. Once I found this projectile, I looked for it in other videos. I found it in several videos from different angles, but when shown against the backdrop of the white debris cloud, it is very hard to see. This is another video from a very similar perspective to the first. In this shot, the trail can be seen to persist all the way down to the bottom of the collapse. We can learn several things from the behavior of this projectile. First, it is clear that this chunk carries explosive material with sufficient power to drastically change its momentum in a short outburst. Secondly, it is clear that the smoke we see is not general smoke from the fires entrained in the wake of a moving object. Since the smoke trail follows the object in all of its twists and turns, it is clear that the smoke is being emitted from the object itself. The most obvious interpretation, of course, is we are seeing the results of nanothermite burning and undergoing explosive outbursts. Once we see this clear example of an object trailing smoke generated on its surface, we can reinterpret what we are seeing elsewhere. There are lots of chunks of falling debris trailing smoke clouds. In many cases, we can see long beams with smoke being emitted from the entire length of the beam. We no longer need to assume that this is smoke following in their wake. When we see white smoke that looks as though it's coming from the girders, it is reasonable to assume that we are in fact seeing smoke coming from material painted onto the girders themselves. When we see chunks that race ahead of the rest of the falling debris, as we see near the bottom of this view, we can reasonably interpret this as caused by explosive impulses that increase the speed of these objects just as they change the direction of the one we've been studying. It is time to take off the blinders. We have not only chemically detected nanothermite in the World Trade Center dust, we are literally seeing nanothermite in action. Once our eyes are open, we can see it wherever we look.